Hello, my name is Raido Boost and in this video we will continue with installation of AutoCAD 2017 and in my previous video we have downloaded all installation files into our PC or network drive and then opening up our folder AutoCAD 2017 we can double click on Setup X to start installation. So double click. We can start installation straight away clicking on install but uh, it's always good to decide how we want to install or let's say do we want to install it into different machines then sometimes it is wise to create a deployment in such cases it means that you can pick all your settings installation settings and then you can more or less do a silent installation so meaning that you can do much quicker installs if needed into different machines you have also a choice of install tools and utilities if you click on that you can see that if you plan to use AutoCAD 2017 with Network License Manager and this is your server, then you also need to install Network License Manager. If you want to have a look how your software is used in your network, then you can also install Autodesk CAD Manager tools. We skip those steps as we plan to use AutoCAD as single license and therefore I just click on Pack button and we can continue with installation, clicking on Install. After a couple of seconds you can agree with license terms clicking on I accept of course please read carefully before you do that and then you can click next now you will see different components that can be installed with AutoCAD 2017 depending on what software you have already installed beforehand it may show you a different picture for example I have installed AutoCAD LT 2017 and with that I also have installed A360 desktop set is already installed and it indicates in blue also installed but with full version of AutoCAD 2017 there is always AutoCAD 2017 and Recap 360. If you click on AutoCAD 2017 left click you can tune your installation or let's say to pick components you want to install. Quite often I select all components but if you know that you don't plan to use those you can also deselect and then you have installation type in here quite often typical works well but you can see on the custom what is actually installed for example express tools quite common to previous AutoCAD users but also if you pick typical then you also have a mark next to express tools so by default it will be installed anyway you don't have to pick custom I also prefer to select create desktop shortcut so that I actually can see my shortcut on my desktop once you have selected components you want to install, I left click again AutoCAD 2017 recap 360 installation. It is meant for visualizing your point cloud data and also preparing for AutoCAD 2017. So it's just a one component. Of course you can select installation paths. Quite often I use default path and if I pick my installation path I can also see if I have enough disk space. It is always good to have enough disk space on your drive even after installation. Before I click on install button I also want to point out that you have links to installation help if you need some more help before installation. You also have system requirements. Please check your system requirements before you start the installation and also you have some notes in read map page. Once you have checked all valid information you can start your install. So left click on install button. Once you start the installation you will see that actually different components will be installed, components or programs however we call those and depending on your system sometimes your installation may be quicker because some of the components are already installed. Altogether I see 18 components and the first five components were quite quick because they actually were already installed. Once your installation is finished you can check if everything was successful. You will see green check mark and if not then you can also see some information why it wasn't successful. Of course you can close then this notification window clicking on finish button and Sometimes you may need to restart your system so that configuration changes can take effect. Of course, it is always suggested that you click on yes button. And after restarting, we can check how to start your product first time. 